So I got my boy Charlie out here. He gets real excited to come out. He really loves sniffing all this stuff. It's like, he's like a, a crackhead to just get out here and smell everything. Charlie! Yeah, he's a hunting dog. Yeah, he's really good outside. Like if you call him, he'll stop. Charlie. Charlie. Hey, hey, Charlie. Charlie. Go on, get him. Get him. You get him. You get him. Yeah, he's a happy boy. I take a lot of videos. <laughs> of him in his uh, excited state, but this is just one of him just kind of prancing around out here. Yeah, so the weather's getting nicer. I'm thinking about starting to move around more on the weekends. Check out some new cities, talk to people, get some more interviews. Maybe wrap this project up with uh, some more professional conversations um, with oh yeah he's taking a crap let's just give him privacy oh now he's gonna kick oh yeah kick all the dirt on it charlie clean that up oh 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 snap he's getting crazy <laughs> it's a celebratory jog after taking a dump i guess <laughs> doing uh doing some little aerobics doggy aerobics so yeah like uh i'm gonna try to get some more content some more stuff more information and then um come october 1st wrap this thing up i'm not worried i'm not gonna freeze to death it really wasn't the winter wasn't as bad as i had expected it would be uh, learned a lot about my body and how it regulates heat. It knows when it's cold and it definitely heats up. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh. <laughs> You're lucky I got this camera in my hand. I'd be chasing you. Catch you a little fast doggy ass. What's up? All right, mark the territory. Them dogs know this is your this is your domain. But uh, yeah, it's been an interesting experience. Um, and I think living homeless was one of the best things I could do because it taught me that society's just full of people that just don't get it and uh, regardless of whether they get it or not a lot of people are so quick to share their ideas and opinions um, I guess like in in, in that sense is an uneducated view is uh, is destructive and counterproductive so you know like from this experience I think that I've learned that um, I'm just gonna give no fucks what other people think I can make enough money to survive for myself I can find the things I want and need not too hard um, and I really feel sad for the people that put so much energy of their lives into the opinions of others because that's a waste of life so um, that's been one of the biggest lessons I think if anybody could just garner that little tidbit of wisdom and learn uh, how to take this you know 
landslide of pressure that we get in this kind of social media driven world that we live in to not allow that to impact you negatively or expend too much of your energy thinking about how you're being viewed through this lens of uh, you know this phantasmagoria of information that just gets kicked around by millions of people online who gives a fuck what they think you know just live your life live it with peace and dignity um, I think that's where I'm at you know other people's expectations don't really coincide with what you know my life is going to be in the direction it'll go and the decisions I make although I will say there was a good period of time that that was a huge influence on me. So, yeah, here we are, me and Charlie. Oh, God, I hope he doesn't go in the mud. You stay out of that water, boy. And uh, we'll leave you with that on Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday, and have a, a wonderful day.